So, let me discuss about the another anti-tubercular drug that is streptomycin. So, if you take this particular streptomycin, remember this is a tuberculocidal aminoglycoside. Right? So, this is one of the tuberculocidal amino glycoside right this is one of the tuberculocidal amino glycoside and this particular streptomycin this is not absorbed orally and this has to be administered by intramuscular injection right this is not absorbed orally and this has to be administered by the intramuscular injection and this streptomycin remember this is poorly plasma protein bound right this is a poorly plasma protein bound drug and if you take the half life the half life of this streptomycin is prolonged in renal failure right the half life of this streptomycin is prolonged right it is prolonged in renal failure next streptomycin is active only against the extracellular bacteria remember this point <clears throat> okay so remember this point it is active only against the extracellular bacteria and majority of your first line anti tubercular drugs are hepatotoxic except for your ethambutol and even the streptomycin is also not hepatotoxic right even your streptomycin is not hepatotoxic now other features are similar to that of the aminoglycosides now the other aminoglycosides which are used in the treatment of the tuberculosis are the other aminoglycosides they include amikacin they include kanamycin and the other drug is capriomycin right the other drug is capriomycin so remember amikacin kanamycin and as well as capriomycin so these are the other amino glycosides <coughs> right these are the other amino glycosides which are used in the treatment of tuberculosis and a point you need to remember is this particular streptomycin is contraindicated in pregnancy okay streptomycin it is contraindicated in pregnancy okay right so shortly revising on the streptomycin remember this is one of the tuberculosidal amino glycoside and this is not absorbed orally and it must be administered by intramuscular injection and this is the drug which is a poorly plasma protein bound and the half life of this particular streptomycin is prolonged in renal failure and it is active only against the extracellular bacteria and this particular streptomycin is not hepatotoxic the other features of this streptomycin are similar to that of amino glycosides and the other amino glycosides which are used in the treatment of tuberculosis are amikacin kanamycin and as well as capriomycin and this streptomycin remember it is contraindicated in pregnancy <clears throat>